worshippers of Australia. This strange brand of heathens lived about 40,000 years ago on the Northern Territory coast. This is 40,000 years before the British decided to dump all their garbage in Australia. So join us on this adventure as we discover their time, customs, manners, and strange erotic rituals. Most often a plant or animal, the totem functions as an ancestor and protector of the clan. Rarely a totem is a mystical spirit or something inanimate, like a cloud. The Aborigines believed themselves to be descendants of their totem, and expended great effort to emulate their forefathers. Hoping to find favor with their totems, and thus benefit from their ancestral protection. They dressed like their totems. their totem's physical behavior and try not to eat their babies even if they really wanted to but things are a little bit different today people worship other things Take these fellows. In modern times, restrictive rituals are uncommon. Instead of respecting their totem by refraining from hunting it for food, people do whatever the hell they want. People do whatever the hell they want. Wreaking havoc on the streets. They'll even eat chicken with their fingers. And what about totem marriage laws? Only members from separate clans were allowed to marry. Once betrothed, one spouse would adopt another's totem to sustain unified totemic families. Strict sexual laws prohibited mother-in-laws from ever meeting face-to-face -face with son-in-laws to avoid something you may be familiar with. Awkwardness? Say you go to a party and you get trash and meet someone you really, really like her. Suddenly it's Monday morning, you can't remember her name. Respective totemic ancestors were recognized by distinct clans, ensuring that mutual respect existed between them. The bond between a man and his totem is special and mutually beneficial. The man takes care of his totem, and it takes care of him. But what about all these restrictions and regulations? Don't the totem people deserve a break from all the hard work of worship? It isn't easy to get dressed like a grouse, or act like an animal all day, all night. But don't feel too bad for our totem friends. They get a chance to love each other regardless of clan, tear their totem into juicy bits, and play all day as a part of their religious festivals. Like a night out on the town for some recreational drinking. So what can we learn about ourselves and about human nature studying these totem people and things of the past? A lot. No time for slacking. I'm swatting in, she's pegging, sister cracking. I'm peanut, and I got what you're lacking. From the grimy down to work in the masses. <laughs>